I think there is a place for civility in our civil society, in our society. I think there's always been a place for civility, with the caveat that uh, certain, uh, particularly revolutionaries and activists, will understand that uh, in order to achieve their ends, they need to they need to dissent from that acceptable behavior of civility. Now, in periods in American society and other societies which are relatively calm, uh, you have civility um, expanding and people not complaining about a lack of civility. So it might be that um, a prisoner might be seen as being uncivil for things that he says or does. Um, or a few crazy people might be seen as uncivil for things that they say or do. But in general, it doesn't invade Congress, it doesn't invade the political discourse, the television, the, the public opinion, um, that there's a common respect uh, within um, public opinion, within um, the framework of a national uh, or of a national identity, and the national identity emerges out of newspapers, of now television, of public discourse that there's a common understanding of what's civil within the public discourse. And the outliers, the true revolutionaries, stand outside of that public discourse, which means they have comparatively little power. Once those uh, outliers, those revolutionaries, can gain a certain insider status and power, that's when understandings of civility really begin to break down.